Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Mighty Hive World. This is episode 31, and if you like these kind of videos, then please subscribe and also hit that like button so that you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. Also, ding that bell for the same reason. So, last episode, we built this. And yes, I know, it is just a massive concrete structure at the moment. But I have plans, don't you worry. I have been doing some experiments in a creative world and I know exactly what I'm going to do with this thing, the Tower of Doom, but I need to gain some resources at the moment, which is what we're going to do in the next couple of episodes so that we can actually get this thing finished. So without further ado, let's get on with the episode. Alright guys, so in today's episode, as I've said, we are going to be resource gathering. And the main thing I need at the moment is green dye. And you get green dye from these things here, cactus. And I haven't got much at the moment. I've This is my uh, so-called cactus farm, which is manual. So I've got a good idea of how to build a cactus farm, which is going to be awesome. And it's also a El Mango design as well. So I'll link it in the description. But let's grab these quick. Oh, OK. Let's grab these quickly because I don't think I'll be needing them anytime soon. So let's first think about what we need. We need some green dye, which is the cactus. We also need a load of blue dye as well. What I've done is I've made this cactus farm over here, which is been running. I forgot about that, but yeah, it's pretty much been running non-stop and it is a cactus farm, as you can see, all this cactus here. So we had, what, 30 odd? Now we've got over two, three stacks. <laughs> yeah, this thing is a beast. I'm not going to lie. So, as I say, I'll link this in the description. But essentially, I'm not going to do a play-by-play -play walkthrough of this because I wouldn't be able to give it justice, unfortunately. And yeah... If you want to know how to build this, then go to El Mango, or the, it'll be in the description. But essentially what it is, is a cactus, they found out that a cactus will grow if it has a zero tick with these sand on the bottom. So what these pistons do is, if I turn it on, they go backwards and forwards it, within one or two ticks, as you can see there. You can't even see the sand properly moving it literally just looks like it's in the middle and then after about 16 ticks or so it will pop off or grow the cactus but because we've got a fence post there next to it and we all know that cactus pops off when it's got a block next to it that is what makes it fall so I hope you can understand the concept of this if nothing else but this also brings to mind what we can do with this, not just get loads of cactus, which we've got here, but we can also make an XP farm out of this as well with furnaces. Furnaces, here we go. With these things here, we can smelt the cactus to get cactus dye, but with when 1.13 came out, they also made it so that the furnace will store the XP. So you can either leave it to just burn or you can put a hopper underneath it and collect the um, hold the XP in the furnace for whenever you want it which is what we're going to do we're going to hook this thing up to a furnace array not that one over there and see if we can get an XP farm going because the only XP farm I've got is the skeleton farm and that is really slow so we need something faster so I'm hoping this will be fast enough um, but if not then we can always visit the end and make an enderman farm 
or the other option is we can make a gold farm with it. So let's see what we can do with this. I'll grab some resources and then get back to you. Alright guys, so I've got some bits and pieces here. We've got some watering glass and some comparators. I've also got a few other bits of redstone in that chest over there. So the first thing we're going to be doing is sorting out the water stream for all this cactus that will eventually go into the furnaces. So what I would like to do is let's use some water streams like so. Like put some water here and there and then there and then that should flow up to here and then eight blocks like so and then we want another water stream here and then we want a hopper so I've got a hopper here and then we can put the hopper let's get rid of you we can put the hopper in there and then we can put another water source there so now oh I miscalculated a few blocks apparently so let's just close that off there and try and get that hopper back good so we need the hopper there so another eight blocks away oh, I've got them in my help bar that's all right so that's the hopper there so now when I turn this on all that cactus should eventually drop down into this water and go into the hopper which looks like it's doing now and it's fairly fast I think there are faster ways of doing this and you can easily tile this somewhat so yeah just as I say look at the um, El Mango's video down in the description for more details because it really is an awesome farm so let's build this up quickly like so, another two blocks because we're getting blocks that are just sticking on there. So now everything should go into this hopper and we've got what 24 cactus already within less than a minute which is like a lot faster than any cactus farm. I was planning to do the Azuma cactus farm which is quite easy to build. But then I found this out and I thought, why not just try this? And some of them are actually going past the hopper, which is odd, but oh well. So now we've got that, what we want to do is then switch that off, because that will just get annoying. We want to lead the items from this hopper into some kind of elevator, so a dropper elevator most likely. Alright oh, guys, so I've got some more glass now and I've just realised that I think six furnaces will probably be enough for this project. Um, so what we're going to do now is put the hoppers back on these furnaces because I got rid of them. So let's do that quickly. Also I'm saving on hoppers and resources because I'm still quite slow on iron unfortunately. So we need to now just block that off because this is where the water stream is going to go like so and then we can put our water bucket there and that should lead all the way to the end which it does. So now everything that goes into the hopper down there will then go into that dispenser it is a dispenser isn't it? Sorry dropper and then eventually go into that water source there and then get carried along into these furnaces. You might be thinking I am lacking how to put fuel in these furnaces so we're going to put some hoppers on the bottom and basically I'll just have a minecart running from backwards and forwards on top of the hoppers or minecart with a hopper shall I say backwards and forwards so that the fuel can go into the furnace as well and then we actually need a output for these furnaces as well so we need more hoppers to connect these two like so and I've got three hoppers left so that should be enough for this project hopefully then what we could do is we could have a chest there 
on, on them hoppers and then we could also technically that's the wrong place so let's put you there we can have some redstone or something because we want to stop these hoppers from collecting anything that's there basically so that it doesn't go on the to the bottom hoppers so basically we want to lock these bottom hoppers so that all the items that are being smelted get stuck in the furnace so that we can actually collect the XP from them essentially is what's happening so yeah I'm not gonna bother with a the chest there at the moment but that should work the only thing we need to do now at the moment is power this dropper so we need to get rid of that put some water there again like so and get the glass and pull it down basically there we don't we only need it a couple of blocks actually we only need it one block technically speaking so let's get rid of that and make our way back up and we don't need that water source anymore because we can use that block there as a guide for where our redstone's going to go and this is a pretty easy it's just a hopper clock really a hopper clock a comparator clock even so we get our comparator which is there and like so then we need some redstone so now I've got some redstone I've also got a repeater which is needed so we can grab a put some redstone there put a repeater there and um, because there's stuff in that the comparator is on oh no the repeater goes there even and then we need some redstone looping all the way around there and then we need to power actually, yeah, actually I put the redstone this side instead because we need to power that block that blue block there the concrete block there that block there so we need some more glass here quickly and then we can get rid of that and that and then we can put some redstone there and as you can see that's triggered the clock because you can see it pulsing there must be something there's, there's another cactus in there it must have grown on its own then anyway so then we put redstone dust there and a repeater there and that will put whatever resources are in here so we've got 22 cactus so let's put them in there and they should eventually if we close that up go up there into the water stream and then into these furnaces which is what's going on now so that's working obviously the distribution of the cactus is not going to be exact but I'm not too worried about that in all fairness so now what we need to do is get some rails and get some chests for the fuel because we've got the item distrib the cactus distribution sorted so let's turn this on and see if it's working we should get a load of cactus coming out soon enough and that we are and they will be going into these furnaces which is what's going on now and it doesn't look like anything's going wrong so far so I'll leave that running but I'm going to get some chests and some powered rails and also a minecart with a hopper basically like we did over there with our furnace array alright guys so we've got the resources we need now so I've got some powered rails some redstone blocks and a block to stop the minecart I've also got a minecart and let's just make a minecart and hopper like so so let's get up here so we need some powered rails on these hoppers hoppers yeah they are hoppers my bad and then we need to get rid of that glass block and put a solid block in it because minecarts with hoppers don't bounce off a glass blocks and then we want to put another block there so that it can just bounce backwards and forwards and actually we need um, a block there with a normal rail on it mind and then we use that block there with a powered rail and then we block it off there Ooh, my bad there we go so then we put a lever on that block and I need to get a normal rail 
put that rail there. Then we need a... Oh, I'll just leave that for now. Then we need to put a redstone block there to pile the rails in the middle there. Then we can get rid of these blocks here. And now we can put some fuel in the... Oh no, we need to put our minecart with the hopper on. So let's put that there then. Like there. Right, so I've got our lever now, so we can put our lever there, and once I press that, that will just keep bouncing backwards and forwards. I'll switch that off for now. Let's change these into coal blocks and put them into our minecart with a hopper, because I'm not planning on using this too much, but enough so we can get some stuff. And I'm just throwing everything in the way at the moment so yeah oh I've got a chest here as well so we can put our chest there a uh, double chest let's just put a double chest there oh, my inventory is full so let's pick them up put them in that chest and yeah so now once I flick this lever all these these chest there these furnaces will fill up with fuel and some of them will start actually burning the cactus then the cactus will go into this chest here and eventually we need some way of or from locking the hoppers shall I say so what we could do is get some sticky pistons down here so we can put some sticky pistons on these blocks here um, yeah, and then have a, oh no, we don't actually need to do that, we can put some sticky pistons on the back even, here, and then have a lever for all these pistons, and then put a redstone block on the piston, so I'll do that and I'll show you what I was talking about, because I probably didn't explain that very well. And this is why I do not do redstone on camera very often, because things always go wrong. So what I'm going to do is figure out what I've done wrong and come back to you once I've actually figured it out. Alright guys, I've figured out the problem now, it's that these hoppers need to be powered from the top. But when I did that, that redstone that was, the redstone block that was there, um, was here even, let's just put it back, it was there, was interfering with the hopper line, like so. So if I put some redstone on these hoppers, it would actually power them all, see? So what I've done is I've got rid of that redstone and just put it on the top there. So it powers the rails, but it doesn't interfere with the this redstone line here. So now we can... In fact, once I get a lever there, power that, and all the hot that, and all the pistons do actually work. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then what we want to do really is move that over to here, really, and then put a put some redstone up here like that. Then that will lock all these hoppers and deactivate them if we want some dye. So now all that's left to do is to actually turn these furnaces on and put some fuel in there. And as you can see the cactus is burning and going into, well it should go into these chests. What? Oh yeah they're locked that's why. How dumb am I? So as you can see the cactus is actually going there, or turning into green dye shall I say. And then we unlock these pistons. <coughs> right, I figured out that problem. It was that power rail there bud powering the actual redstone. So now when we flick it on it locks all these hoppers and the green dye stays in the furnace. Then when we switch that off it gets released into the chest. So, now this is done, we've got our green dye now, 
And we've also got, let's see how much XP we've got in here. So let's quickly lock all these and grab some green dye when it finishes. So that should almost be done now. So we're at 15 levels at the moment. So if I grab you, that's not much. Not much. We may only get actually, let's see. Nope. Okay, so we gained a level from that, which isn't too bad, but not good either. So let's just unpile them. And that is our furnace array and cactus farm done. So now all we need to do is wait for all this cactus to start smelting. Because I could do with some green dye as well. And then we can actually get on with other things so yeah so let's put this cactus oh yeah also it will fill up that hopper first unfortunately but I'm not too bothered about that so this furnace here will be the main one to actually get XP from except for all the rest but yeah eventually all these hoppers will fill up but I'm not too worried about that at the moment so let's leave that at going and get some sleep and see what else we can do all right guys so i know that was a bit of a failure but i'm going to keep that in the video anyway so you guys know how bad at redstone i am and so that i never do that on camera again which unless i know exactly what i'm doing because i'm still fairly new and learning redstone but i know the basics and that's that that's all that matters really so what I'm going to do now is put everything in a chest that I've got on me like any or anything that I don't need like these pistons water buckets I need the fireworks so I'll keep them and yep like let's chuck all that in there like so oh did I have any arrows and then we are going to get some bone meal from our storage system so let's grab some from here getting good at flying through that now aren't I so let's grab a stack of bones and uh, there we go oh I haven't got much bones apparently I've got loads of bone blocks though where's my bone blocks there we are I've got loads of bone blocks so it's not too much of a problem and we are going to fly to the plains Alright guys, so I'm in a plains biome, but I've not found what I'm looking for. As you can see, there's an old school village over there. So these are obviously old chunks that I haven't deleted yet. However, there is this. Where's it gone? Over there. There's a patrol over here. So, let's try our luck with these guys, shall we? There's only five of them. I should be able to kill them decently. Whee! Ah, go on. Get wrecked, guys. Go on. Go goodbye. Good, goodbye, sir. Go on. Yeah, and you. Yeah, we've destroyed the raid, and we've got an ominous banner again, and I've also got bad omen. So yeah, but I figured out if you fly into an old village, where is it? It was over here somewhere. There it is. If you fly into an old village, you don't actually trigger a raid, look. See, I'm in a village now. Or it's supposed to be a village. Technically, it's not, according to the game, because there's no blocks here. And I'm not even triggering a raid. But there are villagers here. They're all unemployed now, I think. But anyway, <laughs> that's an interesting thing to know. But yeah, so I need to do a bit more flying around and trying to find what I'm looking for. Alright guys, so I found the new chunks at last and these are what I'm looking for. More cornflowers. So, because I need some blue dye. So what I'm going to do is, I could have done this where I was, but basically I'm just going to bone mill the hell out of this place and get as many blue flowers as I can. But anyway, so I'm going to grab some cornflowers and, oh, this is some random terrain here, right here. There's just a floating block here. Anyway, 
sidetracked so yeah I'm gonna grab as many cornflowers as I can and I'll catch you in a bit alright guys so I've got about a stack and a half of cornflowers now so I'm literally just making my way to our base but these glitchy chunk loading bugs is really starting to get on my nerves because you can't see where you're going and you kind of have to rely on F3 in order to actually navigate at the moment and even then like you'd think that there's nothing here but I keep smacking myself on trees and stuff as well see what I mean like ow see it's like that but anyway I'll make my way back home and catch you there oh I'm there <laughs> fair enough that wasn't far at all then we oh it's still running <laughs> that's cool so yeah oh, okay then I probably should turn this off because the hopper is completely full down there so that's an uh, oversight let's see if we can grab these no we can't so let's break the flat block there and grab them I wonder how many there are let's see how much is here and there is one two three four five five and a half stacks of so yeah I'm going to finish the episode off here we've got quite a lot of cactus from this cactus farm if you could even call it a cactus farm it's more of an exploit in all fairness but it works and it's going to be able to give me a load of dye not just green dye but because I've grabbed the blue cornflowers or the cornflowers as they're called I can actually make a load of cyan dye so let's do that quickly let's turn them into blue dye like so and then oh we've got a load of green dye here so now we can make some cact or cyan dye and this is for our base so we've got just over just under even three stacks of cyan dye from that and if need be I can always get some more because I've got loads of lapis anyway so I think I'm just going to use that for the next time instead of going around collecting flowers but unfortunately that is all I have time for for this episode sorry that it might be a bit of a short one but it took me quite a bit of time to figure out the redstone as I say I'm not a pro at redstone I just know the basics unfortunately so yeah and also I've got some stink coming off me from the bad omen effect I think and it's still going how much do I have left yet I don't know when it's going to go but yeah so thank you for watching my name is Mighty High if you like this video then please click the like button and subscribe for more videos like this thank you goodbye